जय साई राम मे बाबा शावर हिज डिवाइन एनर्जी टू ऑल द नीडी डिवोटीज टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ब्रिक एज मैं इन द बुक साई एट थ्री सिक्स सिक्स द हैपनिंग ऑन थर्ड ऑक्टोबर फॉर एवरी तेलुगु न्यू ईयर डे उगादी Suri Nagamma ji used to offer new handloom cloth and loin cloth to Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharshi as bhiksha as it was Telugu Ugadi on 19th March year 1950 as per regular custom of hers she bought him new handloom cloth and loin cloth at 7 pm in the evening while putting them on the table in the Bhagwan small room she said tomorrow is ugadi on hearing that bhagwan shri ramana maharshi body is jolted and exclaimed in some strange tone oh ugadi has come ugly vikruti year of ugadi has come for the sound of the words of shri ramana bhagwan people present there and suri nagamma felt aghast they felt this was a suggestion for some bad news few days later bhagwan ramana left his body that indicates shri ramana's suggestion some days before dashara in the year 1918 one person who used to clean the dwarka mai was doing his usual daily work while cleaning the brick which sai baba used to utilize every day slipped from his hand and broke into two pieces This was heard by Sai Baba. Sai Baba had not beaten Madhav Fasle. He did not utter a single word to him. He said, "I used to contemplate on self with the help of this brick. This brick is my life. It is my life companion. Now, this brick is broken. Without the brick." i could not live any more this day this brick left me on the next morning kaka dikshit arrived and said i would get that brick joined back together with silver string tied to it then sai said even if you get that brick joined with golden string also that would serve no benefit the breaking of brick is forecasting a bad omen we can say only mahalsapati was able to understand the real meaning of sai baba's words remaining others thought that sai baba was crying over physical loss of the brick saints like bhagwan shri ramana maharshi and sai baba used to suggest many times in their lives that the wheel of time should be revolving we should not feel any happiness or sorrow for anything this is what we should understand and follow about to shri sai peace be to all the moral of the story generally we human beings get attached to non living things and to the people around us based on the emotional bond we have with them but the reality is nobody walks along with us till the end or to the grave we come alone and we need to go alone we need to prepare our minds in such a way that we should not feel the pain of our last moments of life it is not easy to get detached either on the things that we like or the people we love it comes by practice and by following the preachings and teachings of sadguru while we need to do our duties but internally 
we need to be ever awake to reach the goal of life which is attaining paramartha or moksha and that is possible by following the directions given by our master sadguru sai ma hence i request all my sai bandhus to slowly start practicing the law of detachment both from the living and non living aspects jay sai ram for more audios please visit sai leelas.com